Okay, so here we have another example of a company that has multiple products and we need to determine the weighted average contribution margin and ultimately then how many of each that the company needs to sell to break even. So it says Danny Carter admired his wife's success at selling scarves at local craft shows, so he decided to make two types of plant stands to sell at the shows. Danny makes twig stands out of downed wood from his backyard and the yards of his neighbors, so his variable cost is minimal, meaning wood screws, glue, and so forth. However, Danny has to purchase wood to make his oak plant stand, and his unit prices and costs are as follows. So you can see what he sells each item and the variable cost per unit. The twig stands are more popular, so Danny sells four twig stands for every one oak stand. Susie charges her husband $300 to share her booth at the craft shows. After all, she has paid the interest fees. So how many of each plant stand does Danny need to sell to break even? And will this affect the number of scarves Susie needs to sell to break even? Okay. So let's go ahead and look at the contribution margin per unit for the two types of plant stands. So let's first calculate that contribution margin again, which is the sales price per unit minus the variable expenses is going to give us our contribution margin per unit. So if they have twig and oak stands, let's go ahead and calculate those. So the twig is $15 sales price minus the $250 variable cost. Just put that in there. So that means the contribution margin per unit per twig stand is $12.50. Now the oak stands are more expensive um, to make, but they also have a higher retail selling price, $35 with a $10 variable cost per unit. So that's $25 contribution margin from the oak stand. Now they said that the uh, twig stands were more popular. So if we look at the sales mix percentage of each, they're gonna sell four twig stands to every one oak stand. So if we go ahead and do the math here, we'll get the contribution margin from each item. 1250 times 4 should be $50. And obviously 25 times 1 is 25. So the weighted average contribution margin will be to go ahead and add those two together. That's going to be $75 divided by the number of units here, which is 4 to 1, so divided by 5. So our weighted average contribution margin will be 75 divided by 5, or $15 per item. $15 weighted average contribution margin. Okay, but we're not going to stop there because it's asking us how many of each that he needs to sell to break even. So we know we have a $15 weighted average contribution margin. So let's go ahead and plug this into our formula. So break even sales are going to be fixed costs, which are 300. That's the cost that her husband, the cost that she is uh, charging here. So 300 divided by the $15 weighted average cost per unit. And that is going to be uh, 20 units they need to sell. So the question is then how many of each unit? So well, if we have twig and we need to sell 20 units and they're at a ratio of 4 to 5, so 80% of them need to be twigs, which is 16 units, or the oak, which is at a ratio of one to five or 20%, they need to sell four units. Um, and then also it asks, how will this affect the number of scarves Susie needs to sell to break even? Well, Susie's fixed costs now are gonna go down. Her fixed expenses are gonna go down by $300 because she's charging her husband which means she's going to have to sell fewer scarves. We don't know the information about her contribution margin, but it certainly would affect the number of scarves that she would need to sell.